The thing that made me fall in love with photography has always been the process of taking photos. The process of going somewhere magnificent and observing and attempting to capture it. Ever since I began my journey in photography, I've been on the hunt for the perfect camera, and I think I've finally found it. To truly test it out, I went to one of my absolute favorite places on earth, the land of fire and ice. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, we're out here in Iceland with the RX100 Mark 7. I'm going to be putting this camera to the test. I'm shooting with it everything from landscape to portraits to street photography. This camera has been an absolute blast, full of surprises and I love the fact that I could just put it in my pocket. Again, it kind of looks odd in my pocket but it does fit in the pocket. One of the reasons I absolutely love this camera is the fact that it makes hiking a lot easier. I don't hike that much but whenever I'm traveling I try to hike as much as possible and I try to look around and, and enjoy the experience as much as possible and just having this little camera um, solves that problem because if I don't have a camera at all then I start kind of aching at the insane and beautiful wonderful views that I get to see and then not take any photos but having a camera like this with a, an incredible range again 24 to 200 that's like two big full frame lenses also switching between them it would have been a, a whole hassle if I didn't have this camera. There's so many moments where I see myself and I see other people wanting to switch back and forth between lenses because there's so many wonderful frames, wonderful compositions and then we get overwhelmed. Having this entire range being right there is just so so nice and it saves so much time and it lets me focus more on the experience and I think in my opinion if the experience is good the photos are better. Now to contradict myself um, with being in the moment and being present and all this. On top of all this, I get to have an entire drone with me in my pocket. And again, it's a small mini drone. And you kind of see a theme here of like small things that kind of suffice the whole 80-20 rule. And um, yeah, this is nice because also you can unlock an entire new perspective that you didn't see. So for a shorter hike like Grabrook, which is I think a few steps uh, up, it's nice to have something like this. Another thing is taking care of your physical health is very important if you're trying to live a, a decent life and obviously carrying a lot of heavy gear is can cause a lot of back pain especially if you have it on a, like a strap or something it starts kind of weighing heavy on one side and then you have to switch it to the other side so having a camera like this again absolute blast and you guys can see the results it's not bad it's really not bad one thing I also really like about this camera is it's not only a good standalone camera it's a really good like B camera so for example I'm shooting right now on the 35 millimeter uh, on a full-frame camera and this is a really lovely lens I love using it I love using prime lenses in general I can open it wide to 1.4 right now I think it's about 6.3 7 point something because I wanted to get more of the background I love opening wide to 1.4 getting that depth of field but it is very convenient to have a zoom lens also because I can get so many different types of shots this camera paired up with a 35 millimeter or my personal favorite at the moment the 85 millimeter 1.4 I love this combo because I have a prime lens it's fixed and it's bringing me all that depth of field that good low light and at the same time now I have a range from 24 to 200 so it gives me that complementary flexibility so I can kind of combine the images that I got with the prime lens and the images that I get with this camera I never know what type of shot I want to take I, I, I go to places and I let the places inspire me so I don't know what lenses I would want I don't know what specific focal length would be perfect for a certain scenario so having something like this paired up with a full frame camera has been honestly a blast because I can just literally put it in my pocket and then have this camera that I'm shooting with right now in the video hang around and if I feel like I want to be a little bit lighter I could just take this one okay so obviously this camera is not perfect and it doesn't replace a full frame camera some of the drawbacks I've been experiencing is looking at the photos in the preview section. It is not that good, but it can be mitigated a little bit with the photo view. And um, it's 
still doesn't show you what the photo really looks like but I think this is also one of the reasons people don't think the camera takes good photos because they take a photo they look at it and they're like hmm that doesn't look good but once you have it in the editing software you can play around with it and bring out a lot more so this is an advantage the battery dies kinda quickly but <laughs> you can charge it relatively quickly and the one I bought I bought it used and it came with seven of these little batteries and you can kind of plug it in when you're charging your phone or something and it charges kind of quickly so that's some of the disadvantages of this camera. If you have any questions feel free to put them in the comments. I'm also going to be running a workshop webinar with B&H and Sony about this camera. We're doing a series so if you're interested to learn more about this camera definitely tune in to these. You can find the link down in the description. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Zayman. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Do you think it's a good time to allow to let me? No. Absolute worst time. We'll test test one. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Test two. Ladies and gentlemen. Test three. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm gonna talk about my big fucking surprise. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are gonna. <laughs>